tons of those on the road still. All right. Well, let's talk about all three E350s. Yes. Uh, very, very similar uh, setup to the truck I had, if I had to guess. More or less. More or less. So we didn't start out with Fords. We actually started out with the first car I remember we had was actually like a. Is that the Chevy van? No, it was a Lincoln car. Mm. Like a very, like an 80s Lincoln car. Oh, okay. That still counts. That's the Ford. Oh, well, okay. FOMO Co. Well, I don't really want to talk about it because I don't have a whole lot of things to say about it since I was so young I can barely remember it. So The elders well, loved it. There you go. Yes, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Anyway, though, we, uh, then we got, then as the family grew, we got a Chevy truck, and of course that one died. I don't oh, really? remember where or when, but it died oh, apparently. Had a Chevy pickup? Huh. What? I didn't know that you guys had a pickup truck. We did not. We had a Chevy. Oh, van. Van? Yes. Oh, you said truck. Uh, I said <laughs> Wait, what? I said van. Whatever. Anyway, Chevy van. Chevy. Chevy. Yep. A Chevy. Uh, Express probably. SUV or whatever. But anyway. Yeah. I guess either the family grew or it died i think it died so we decided to get a white e350 to take us to georgia from detroit okay and i remember it it was pretty nice car for the most part for for what it is for what it is, it's a lot more room. It was a oh, lot yeah. of benches. Yeah. A lot of benches in that car that filled every seat. Let's put it that way. And uh yeah. I mean that that's a that's a a, a passenger van in a nutshell. Oh yes. And then I guess after I don't even know, remember what year it was. I think it was 03 or something, maybe. Yeah. But then it died. I don't wow. know what it was because my father won't <laughs> disclose that information to us. Next kids. time I'm with him and you're present, I'm going to ask him about it. And then we'll come back and be like, now we know. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, yeah. so we got rid of the white car, and then we got the red car, which this one was... That's, that's quite a car. It's not the one that you're thinking about, but... Oh. There was a red car before that, and the red van. This yeah. one was pretty decent. Yeah. That one lasted... For four years. Okay. And then that one died. My Man. father doesn't really work on cars. Let's put it that way. Ah. He doesn't really take care of the cars either, necessarily. He just I see. takes it to a garage and tells them to fix it. And, yeah. So. Okay. But anyway... We uh, got the new van, the van that we all know and love. The, the famous one. The famous one. Which we is got, still going. We got that one a couple years after we moved into the house where my family lives in right now. Okay. One or two years, because... The other one died. And the red van is actually on its final legs as well, actually. After years and upon years of service and just 
hard work and dedication, it's on its last legs as well, actually. So well, it's still I mean, runs fairly well. I think it uh it does, but I mean there's it's got a lot of issues, but it still moves. Let's put it that let's put it that way. But yeah. F the E three fifties each one that I've owned, they've gotten the job done, right? Yeah, like they've they, they served their purpose. Yeah, I mean they've. I mean, for what they are, they're pretty good. They're like a truck, but with a topper on it, basically, and that's yeah, and it's a deeper cargo bay. If you get yeah. what I'm saying, like it's lower to the ground. That too. So. That's always a plus. You know, they don't yeah. make those anymore. The the E series now it's the the Transit. Yeah, but it lives on as the Transit. Cool story though. Indeed. So yeah, I mean, I don't really have a whole lot to say about it because I never drove these cars myself. The last one, you, I witnessed that in person. I drove it. You did. Oh yeah. So. I did drive the last one. I think once. I think it was just for the the filming. I remember you drove it that one time. I was like, he's rolling up in his dad's E three fifty. Oh my oh, god! Yeah, I what, did. What is this? Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> there was. Oh yeah, I do remember it now. Okay, so. <laughs> It was a little, it was sort of touchy. Yeah, yeah. Like, you put your foot, you put the pedal to the metal, it's going to go. The van, like, really? Yeah, I mean, it's... Oh, it's, yeah. It, a lot of it, You can, but the pedal is actually kind of hard to push down even, so... Yeah, it sounds very... It's, like <laughs> yeah it's a uh, oh, Chevy is it's an it's a uh, late 90s e350 I mean there's no I mean there we finally got a CD player in one of them all the other ones no CD player makes... this one had a CD player so we got it we, we, we did it ladies and gentlemen we did it it's a miracle that's pretty high end for late 90s. Oh, yes. Man, I have to say, I'm surprised it even came with that from the factory. No, it didn't come with that from the factory. Oh, you, you got an aftermarket one. I don't I don't know. It just, we got this in like 2014 or something. This van in 2014. It's not brand new. Okay. I see what you're saying. But regardless, if it is a late 90s van, my, my, my point being, you didn't see that a lot. That wasn't like yes. always a function. That was a very like prestigious thing. Yes, yes, it was. You are correct. And CD player, for the most part, there is like a 98% chance of it working. Oh, you know, I got to, that reminds me of something. Uh, it's funny you say that, and I can totally relate there. Uh, first of all, my uh, F-150 Lariat, same color as the the infamous van, if you will. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that uh, that truck being you know more or less top of the line with luxury, you know, for a a truck that, in that day. Power seat in the driver's side, uh, power mirrors and locks, keyless entry, uh, had the, it had a cassette player and an AM FM radio though, from the factory. Right, yeah. Something I forgot to mention, I did upgrade the radio to a modern one with Bluetooth audio and it's told a subwoofer like everyone in high school does, but uh, oh yeah, it was like, <laughs> but uh, no the the Chevy 
has a CD player from the factory. Like it, it's got a 1997 CD player, and just like the CD player in your van, it has a 98 percent chance of working right. More often than not, you're fine. But every once in a while, you'll want to listen to a CD, and it'll say "er" like E R R. No, it's not that. It's well, yours doesn't say Earth. My, ours used to uh it is skip. Skip and scratch uh, the CDs. That's the two percent that uh, may not work. Your yours failed in a different way, huh? Interesting. Yeah, it's not all the time though. But sometimes but, it was like that and it was kind of weird. Oh, the temperamental of it, if you will. It's very relatable, though. All the other ones were only cassettes, which was very bizarre. And I remember we had the other one, like the, uh, what was it? The, uh, second, yeah, the second one. The Chevy van? Now, now the, the what? S- like the second E350 we had. Oh, first red one. Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. It had a... We had to put in, like, a portable CD player and kind of sort of plug it into the sound system, which is very bizarre. Huh. Like sort of a hack, hack job. I don't know. Whatever. But yeah. anyway... Ooh. I think we talked enough about this. I don't really have yeah. much else to say about it, because... I've got one thing, uh... That E three fifty platform is also what Ford used a lot on like delivery trucks, like a U haul truck. That's basically a E three fifty. Quite. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't really have much else to say necessarily about it, other than they're massive. That and. First couple were fairly garbage, and this one, surprising enough, works. I don't know why that is, but it's just the way it is, I suppose. It's got a new valve Triton V8 that is known to keep going and keep going. Oh, well, there you go. So, for the, I guess since they're kind of sort of different, I'm going to write them separately. Yeah. The first couple, I'll give like a 6 out of 10. Okay. But for the model that we have right now, that's like higher end. Since yeah. it's not, since it's like the since it's like from the nineties or whatever, and it's still going. No matter whatever how much it is, I'm gonna give it an eight point five. Yeah. I think that's fair. It's fair. What's your but- rating, son? I cannot really comment on any of the vans except for the the current one. <laughs> uh, and well, right, the current van then. The, the current one is, I think that's a good solid van, and I think if your dad, you know, keeps if he he's willing to keep up with basic maintenance and you know just uh. Pick it to the garage and have them do it, I guess. Uh, you know, no matter if he or, does it. Or priced. Point being, like, as long as he's keeping it maintained, whether he does the actual labor of it or not, you, you know, like, keeping the oil changed regularly, like, for any car, fluids, uh, you know, good stuff like that. Uh, I think, from what I recall, uh, recently, the most recent time I saw it uh, seemed like it didn't always want to run on the first crank, so there might be a... Yeah, that's, well, that's what the thing was. Simple fix, though. That To me, something that simple, and if it runs fine after that, that's an easy thing to figure out. Quite. What's your rating, son? You know, I'm going to have to, 
I think I'll I'll match your eight and a half. Oh, nice. Not not perfect, but a very it's, good solid van overall, and it, it, it's lasted your family several years. So, yeah, and it gets the job done. It's worth out of it for sure. Quite. 